Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here with Practically Squared. Welcome back to the channel. So I shot my last match of the 2024 PRS season last weekend at MCAM Precision. We'll do kind of a season recap where I started in PRS two years ago versus where I ended two years later shooting all the matches I've shot. But that's for another video. Today's video, I was talking with a shooter who's relatively new to the sport. And what he was talking to me about is what he needs to work on over the off season. And whenever somebody struggles to find what they need to work on, what I like to ask people is, what do you think is the most important thing to be good at at PRS? Like, what do you need to do to put yourself in the best position to succeed? What are the core aspects of skill sets that you need to have? And I'll ask you guys that question. Pause the video, post down in the comment section below what you think is important to win a PRS match. So getting into it, what I see a lot of newer shooters say, or what I hear a lot of newer shooters say, is that, oh, it's wind. Wind reading is what's holding me back. And while I think wind reading is a very important aspect of long range shooting and PRS shooting in general, if you're an East Coast shooter like myself, I shoot a lot at MCAM Precision, which is a hard range to shoot at, but the wind, it, it, the wind's switchy, but the wind's not very high numbers. Like generally we're holding two to three tenths left to two to three tenths right, given, you know, normal target ranges, four to 700 yards. So we're not holding a lot of wind. So if you could just predict wind angle, you're going to be pretty good. And even if you are, even if you suck at wind reading, if you send every shot in a match, every first shot straight up and just read where you hit or where you missed and correct the center, you're going to get nines on every stage. And if you drop one point in every single, on every single stage, you're going to pretty much be guaranteed to be in the top 20, top 10 of a PRS match, right? So <clears throat> if you could just chip away at all the other stuff, the wind reading is going to kind of come along. And whenever somebody asks me what I think they should work on, I came up with a little list. If I can't figure something out or if I'm struggling to understand something, I like to write it out. It just kind of helps me. And I also like to put a number to everything. So what I did was I wrote down what I think is important to win a PRS match. And what I think is important are the fundamentals of marksmanship, as well as three other things that I added. I think you need to be able to read where you hit or where you miss on the target. I think you need to be able to build a position quickly and efficiently. And last, I think you need to have wind reading. So everybody says the fundamentals of marksmanship a different way. So let's take a second to break down. I took Andy Slade's class and Andy Slade explains the fundamentals of marksmanship in an acronym called BRASS TF. Breathing, relaxation, aim, sight alignment, sight picture, trigger control, and follow through. Taking a second to digest all of those. Breathing is simply breaking your shot at your natural respiratory pause. Relaxation, bone on bone support, being square to the target, being comfortable, being able to stay calm. All that's part of relaxation. Aim is natural point of aim. You wanna be square to the target, not bladed. You wanna have, you know, point your rifle at the target. That's gonna help with your target acquisition and stuff like that. Sight alignment. Sight alignment on a precision rifle is gonna be stuff like being parallax free being level. If you're not breaking shots level, how many times do you see newer shooters say, oh, the wind switched on me. Looking through binos, the wind didn't switch on them. You watch their bubble level, they're canned left, canned right. That's stuff with sight alignment that's very important. Parallax, level, having no scope shadow in there, being good to go there. Sight pitcher is, hey, if you intend to break your shot two tenths left, you want to break that two tenths left on the center of target. You don't want to break it two tenths left, but be favoring the upper third quadrant of a target. You're you're, you're essentially inducing some sort of miss there, right? So sight alignment, sight picture, those are two very important things. Trigger control is pretty self-explanatory. You want to break a consistent trigger press. A lot of people in PRS, they get stressed out by the stressors in a PRS match and they start slapping triggers. I'm as guilty of it as anybody. I've, I've battled it over my two years of PRS shooting. I'll shoot really good and then I'll have some matches where I just get in a hurry and start slapping triggers. And it's something that you constantly got to work on. Personally, I like to keep my trigger press as cognizant of the thought as I can. I don't want to delegate my trigger trigger press to a subconscious thought. And then follow through, even if you slap the trigger, if you follow through and see where you hit or where you missed, that's something that's going to help you a long way. So those are the seven fundamentals of marksmanship, at least how I understand them. And the way I like to do this little score sheet is write out those seven fundamentals of marksmanship and be honest with yourself. Score yourself one through 10 on how good you think those are. And then the three additional things that being able to read where you hit or where you missed on the target, score yourself one to 10 on that. Score yourself on how good you are at building a quick and efficient position. Lastly, score yourself on wind reading. That's, this is gonna give you a rating out of 100, and it's gonna kind of give you your Madden rating for how you are as a shooter. And what you could do is you could look at that and say, 
say maybe you think your natural point of aim is like a five. Well, maybe you need to work on natural point of aim. You could do some dry fire drills. You could do some different different drills to work on that. Maybe your trigger control is an issue. I feel like a lot of people trigger control is an issue. That's something where you need to come up with a system that works for you. You need to be able to break every shot at a conscious thought level and not just get in a rhythm and just start slapping triggers. It's stuff like that that's gonna help you improve as a shooter. So this might help you, this might not help you, but I think it's something good. If I ever struggle with understanding something, writing it out on a piece of paper, whether it's you know your budget for finances or you know where you wanna get in life and how you need to get there and just writing down goals and stuff, it's the same, You know, this is the same as writing down goals. If you write down goals, you put them on paper and you date them and you come back and you revisit those goals. It's same thing with this. You come up with your shooter number, where you are, and then you work on improving. If you wanna get good in the sport, these days there's a lot of really, really good shooters. Like if you're in the top 20 at a big one day match, you should be pretty proud of yourself. Cause I mean, the shooters at these matches are very, very good. And two to three impacts could be 20th place to third place, 20th place to first place, depending on the match. So chipping away one impact at a time, one skill set at a time is really how I feel that you get to the top. And I'm not a top level shooter by any means, but I'm working there. So guys, hopefully this video helps you. If it does, let me know down in the comment section below. I've got a lot of stuff planned for you over the off season. I know I haven't been posting a lot, but I'm gonna try to post some videos here regularly over the off season, getting ready for 2025, which we're gonna hit it pretty hard. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe, go take a look at some of my other videos. Also, remember to train hard, shoot fast, and be safe. Thanks.